I've made a series about all the 5 star generals in American history. If you haven't seen that, the link to those videos are in the description below. This series is going to be about all the 5 star admirals in American history, the rank Fleet Admiral. So, a 5 star admiral. Throughout the entirety of American history, only 4 people have held this rank. It was created for the same reason a 5 star general was, to be equal in seniority to 5 star officers from other countries and to command their forces. So, who were the 4 admirals with 5 silver stars? First, let's start with naval ranks. The Navy has a different ranking system than the Army and Air Force, and it's pretty much just that the names of their ranks are different. There are two main types of soldiers, enlisted soldiers and officers. To simplify things to the max, enlisted soldiers are the soldiers who do most of the fighting, and officers are the ones who manage the enlisted soldiers. Enlisted soldiers usually have specific knowledge about a certain thing, while officers are more generalized in their knowledge. Enlisted, enlisted ranks in the Navy include seaman apprentices and petty officers. Officers include ensigns, commanders, and admirals. For enlisted soldiers, the path of promotion is straightforward. You'll start out as a seaman apprentice, then a seaman, then a petty officer third class, second class, first class, then a chief petty officer, then a senior chief petty officer, then a master chief petty officer, then a fleet or command master chief petty officer, and finally the master chief petty officer of the navy. Although there's only one of that at the time. The ranks from petty officer third class and upwards are non-commissioned officers. They're responsible for their soldiers. After enlisted soldiers, there are officers. For officers, the path of promotion goes something like this. You'll start as an ensign, then a lieutenant junior grade, then a lieutenant, then a lieutenant commander, then a commander, then a captain, then a rear admiral lower half, then a rear admiral upper half, then a vice admiral, and finally an admiral. After this, there's the five-star admiral, called a fleet admiral, only awarded in times of war, and it's the navy's equivalent to a five-star general, or a general of the army. Only four people have gotten this rank. Who were those four? William Leahy, Ernest King, Chester Nimitz, and William Halsey. Let's start with William Leahy. He was born in Hampton, Iowa in 1875 and was the first of seven children. His father, Michael Leahy, fought in the Civil War and was part of the Iowa legislature. As a child, his family moved around a couple times before settling down in Ashland, Wisconsin. After graduating high school, he wanted to go to West Point and join the army, but Thomas Lynch, his local congressman, couldn't get him a seat, instead offering him a spot at the Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. He graduated 35th out of 47th and five other students in his class would go on to become admirals. After graduating in 1897, he served on the USS Oregon, which famously went around the continent of South America in order to quickly reach the US fleet off of Cuba during the Spanish-American War. In 1899, he was commissioned as an ensign and over the following years, served in the Philippine-American Wars and the Boxer Rebellion in China. In 1907, he went back to the Naval Academy in Annapolis as a teacher for chemistry and physics for two years, and then was promoted to lieutenant commander in 1909. During World War I, he commanded the troop transport ship, the Princess Motoika, and won the Navy Cross for successfully taking it through ports littered with mines and enemy submarines, and was promoted to captain a few months before the war ended. During this war, he also became friends with Franklin D. Roosevelt, who was Assistant Secretary of the Navy at the time. During the interwar period, he experienced a rapid progression through the ranks of the Navy, as his superiors saw that he was pretty good at organizing. In 1927, he became the Chief of the Bureau of Ordnance. In 1933, he became Chief of the Bureau of Navigation and in 1937 he became Chief of Naval Operations, all the while getting promoted. In 1927 he became a Rear Admiral, and just nine years later, in 1936, he was promoted to the temporary rank of Admiral. Three years later, in 1939, he retired, and FDR appointed him Governor of Puerto Rico for a year, and was then appointed as the Ambassador to Vichy France, which was basically Nazi Germany's puppet government for France. Why was Leahy Ambassador to this place? His task was pretty much to strengthen the French resistance to the Nazis, and to make sure that the French Navy wouldn't fall into the hands of the Nazis. In 1942, he was called back to the US and became one of the inaugural members of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, along with Generals Hap Arnold and George Marshall, and his fellow Admiral Ernest King. Leahy was the most senior of all of them, and was given the title Chief of Staff to the Commander-in-Chief. This title would later become Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. In December 1944, he was given his fifth star and became a fleet admiral. Throughout the war, Leahy became closer and closer to FDR, so much so that one historian called him, quote, the second most powerful man in the world, and in February 1945, he accompanied FDR to the Yalta Conference. After FDR died two months later, in April of 1945, 
Leahy offered to resign from his post as chief of staff, but Truman decided to keep him, and Leahy continued in his role during the aftermath of World War II and the beginnings of the Cold War. In 1949, Truman accepted Leahy's resignation, but since Leahy had five stars, he technically was still on active duty as an advisor to the Secretary of the Navy and would remain that way until he died 10 years later, on July 20th, 1959, at the age of 84. That's all for part one. Part two will be coming in a month. If you liked the video, then be sure to subscribe and like. Thank you for watching Explained. New videos, once a month.